they are in their 40s. Uh, they haven't had a hit record in 18 years, but they still have the girls swooning in the aisles. They're the monkeys. And three out of the original four have gotten together for a nationwide tour this summer. Don had a chance to talk to one of them, Mickey Dolenz, when he was in the uh, parking lot at Channel 13 doing a BBC interview. This is what he had to say. your family to us? Uh, well, this is my wife, Trina, my wife of nine years, and this is our oldest, Charlotte, who's four, and this is Emily, who's two, and this is Georgia, who's one. And you look in the camera over there and say, hi. And make a face. Make you a silly face, face Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> and what a great idea. Eyes and teeth. Eyes and teeth. Do the little dance now, Charlotte. Come on, do the little dance. <laughs> what a great idea we had by providing fudge sickles for the children. And they're nice little oh, outfits. Oh, yes, they're nice little clean outfits. Not such a good idea, I guess. Well, I guess the obvious question has to be show business, family life, and how you got them all to work so wonderfully together with three beautiful children. And... We don't! It's a madhouse! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what happened is last summer when I was asked to do this tour, I was living in England. We live in England. And I'm a producer-director there of television and films. And I, uh, quite honestly, didn't want to do it. I was very comfortable over there, quite a successful career. And they asked me again and again. They upped the, the offers and made it more, more viable. And my wife was finally the one that uh, said, oh, go on. We'll take the kids around the United States on a summer tour like a holiday. No. <laughs> Little did we know. No. With them, it's a holiday. For me, it's go. Now, this is much like many country western artists do in some mm -hmm. bands. This is a touring bus, Ron. What's it like traveling around the country now on this bus with the three children? Oh, it's, it's sheer luxury, I have to say. It, it really is. But we travel at night most of the time. We, yeah. travel, we put the kids to sleep on the bus and we travel at night. So we just wake up and, you know, the pool's in a different place. <laughs> <laughs> a different shape. A different <laughs> shape and the lobby's in somewhere else, you know. So we're just moving at night. It the, makes it much easier. The kids are, are having no problem. We, we're... Um, We've had trouble adjusting, especially an old guy like me. No, you know, uh, they're aware of, obviously, that you are one of the monkeys. Yeah. I mean, do the children know this status? I don't know, Charlotte. It, what do you Charlotte, think about do me? Know, do you know your dad's one of the monkeys? Yes. Who, who's your favorite monkey? Daddy. Oh, good yeah. choice. Yeah. Oh, right. Here's your dollar. She's a, she's a Peter fan. <laughs> Listen, this might take a lot of be a commercial. <laughs> what, about, what do you think about this revival? Now, you know, Star Trek, people know the lines. Now they're getting into your episodes yeah. and all the little shtick and gags that went with it. Kids are going around one more time. What about that? Well, needless to say, I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised. And it's, it's been marvelous. This tour has just exploded into the most... Uh, exciting and very spontaneous kind of excitement. It, it wasn't promoted, it wasn't um, hyped, and you know, it was something that came very naturally out of the 20-year reunion and then the MTV run of the show, and then the tour, but that all happened uh, unbeknownst to each other. You know, it wasn't all coordinated. So the excitement that's happened has been very genuine. And I think that essentially the show stands up because the humor was, um, it wasn't topical or satirical. It was kind of Marx Brothers, you know, it's just timeless kind of stuff. And, and the music stands up because there were great songs written by great writers like Carol King and Neil Diamond. And Knowing him as we do, with the shtick and running around up and down and taking pies and all sorts of things, a woman would have to ask you as his wife, is, is there anything similar to that in real life at home? Yes, definitely. Very, very definitely. Ask the children. I think they're all hams. They've all taken after him. He is like that in real life, too. Is Daddy silly? And there's a serious side to him, too. Is Daddy really silly? Yes. He's what does he do at home that's really silly? Your favorite thing that he does? Tickling. What? Tickles us. Tickle. He tickles you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to take a nice close look here. We're almost finished with yeah. the first annual Mickey Dolan Fudge Chickle Eating Contest. This was Daddy's silly idea, I can tell you. And I do believe this new white outfit is going to uh, set a precedent in design. Are you, are you enjoying that Fudge Chickle? Is it nice, Emily? Are you enjoying it? <laughs> hey, get the microphone out of here. Well, you look fantastic. Well, thank you. Congratulations and happy anniversary since I won't see you for your 10th but the 9th years and three beautiful daughters. Got to be great to be a monkey. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs>
We'll be right back. Stay with us. And 